I think there's a common misconception that once you hit a certain age, you've tried everything, you've done everything, and that you've just got to stick to your routine, and I think that's wrong. My name's Amy Williams. I'm a care worker. Main duties are taking care of their everyday well-being and their personal care. I think we're all creatures of habit and become sort of complacent. Just see your day as a routine. But when you see the positive effect of the art classes can have on some of the residents, I think that outweighs any kind of um, interruption in the day. I've always loved art, but I was a hairdresser before I did the um, art, but that was always my passion, was I wanted to, do, to be creative. I'm Alison Moja, and I'm a textile artist. Whenever I go to the care home, I like to take something from the environment. I'll gather autumn leaves and start a conversation about the colours and how we've been collecting them and walking through the park, so that gives them a sense of bringing the outside into the home. I wanted to set myself a challenge, let people understand how fragile a lot of these ladies and gentlemen are, but how strong they are in their personalities and their humour and work and make something beautiful out of something that's very fragile. It's Mariana. Stirrup, S-T-I-R-R-U-P. And good God, how old I am. Can't count anymore now. But it must be going on for a hundred now. It's about 90 something. And my daughter bought me all those books. And she said, well, now this is for adults only. And when I saw them, I, I just fell in love with them and I've been doing them. People tend to be a slightly impatient about people when they get a bit slower or a little bit confused. We are quite ageist, where we should be embracing their knowledge and their experiences. It takes your mind off everything, really, because you've got to concentrate to make them a bit nice. And if, if I'm sitting there two hours, it doesn't matter to me. It's just to not enjoy it. No matter what obstacles you face, you can still have independence and you can still have adventure and new experiences. And that is sometimes, I think, forgotten about. Sometimes we get nice teachers there. We had... Uh, um Nice young one once, she was nice. And she sat next to me, she said, I'll show you. Oh, I said, for God's sake, don't let show me. I said, I know how to do them. <laughs> You start a workshop where people have been conditioned from school that this is right and that's wrong. And I think it's good for them to explore unexpected outcomes. Lovely, Betty. Well, that's looking great, Bet. This is a process where they're here to enjoy it and they're empowered with what they want to do, not what you want from them. If you put a stencil over the top of it or something, just because of the movement, you're showing the movement. Right, yes. Oh, it shows the speed over... Yeah, the... it does, it shows the speed. I think you've got a lovely writing. Look at that though, look how pretty that is on the edges there. Yes. 
That's a good idea. That looks really good. Really That's really yeah, beautiful, yeah. doesn't it? I've learned from Alison to just be a little bit more patient rather than just taking control straight away. And I, I think it all comes down to confidence. Just to, to be able to let people express themselves, to, but to be there to encourage them as well. What's the next step? You gain so much from these moments and these classes and these experiences. You feel like you've done your job well and you've had a positive impact on that particular person's day and the particular person's life. See where it goes, is it? And I think it benefits you as a care worker <laughs> and it only enhances your work-life experience. I'm not in the mess. <laughs> Well, at least you can distinguish what type of leaves there are and what trees. Can on Canadian thing, I think it looks like. like. Canadian maple. Yeah, it looks like, doesn't it? It does. They don't scratch, it's supposed to be birds, OK? <laughs> I think our Trevi's been so good at opening up the mind of artists as well. I have felt really privileged and honoured to be in the company of the residents. I have enjoyed their stories and their humour and that they fight just to be an individual still and it's essential for it to be continuing.